Hello friends, this video on congruence of triangles part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now quickly look at the criteria for triangles to be congruent because when we look at a triangle it has many parameters to be compared. For example, a triangle has three vertices like as you can see in this triangle A, B, C are the three vertices. It has three angles, angle A, B and C. Uh, it has three sides A, B, B, C and A, C. So, you know, if we really want to compare two triangles, whether they are congruent or not, just by measuring one of the angles or by measuring one of the sides will not help. So we need to ensure that all the sides are equal or the angles are equal. And that's going to be a tedious task every time, right? So that is why there exists four such criteria for two triangles to be congruent. So what are those criteria? SSS criteria, SAS criteria, ASA criteria and RHS criteria. So if any of these four criteria is true, that would mean that the two triangles are congruent. So what are these criteria? So let us try to understand them one after another because if I tell all of them in one slide, it, it's going to be uh, damn confusing for you. So let us start with SSS criteria. So are you curious to know what does SSS stand for? So SSS stands for side, side, side criteria. Now what would that mean? Side, side, side. That actually means that if you have two triangles, let's say triangle 1 and triangle 2 and if all the sides of triangle 1 are equal to all the sides of triangle 2, now that doesn't mean that all the sides of one triangle has to be equal to each other. What it means is, let's say this is one side of a triangle, this is another side of a triangle. So if these two sides are equal to each other, similarly if the second side is also equal to each other, and the third side is also equal to each other. So if the corresponding sides are equal, then the two triangles are congruent. So let us name this triangle. So let us call this A, B, C and let us call this D, E, F. So let us say if this side is equal to this side, if this side is equal to this side, and if this side is equal to this side. So this is how we denote that two sides are equal. So here also you have three lines, here also you have three lines. That means AB is equal to DE. So if AB is equal to DE, AC is equal to DF and BC is equal to EF. So if this holds true, then we say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So this is the SSS criteria. That means if the corresponding sides of two triangles are equal, then the two triangles are congruent. So that is our SSS criteria. Now it's very simple to remember this because SSS stands for side, side, side. That means all the three sides should be equal to the corresponding three sides of the other triangle. Now the question is, why can't triangles be congruent if one or two sides are equal? I mean, why is it necessary that all the three sides must be equal? Why is it not possible that if only one side of a triangle is equal to the corresponding side of the other triangle, then the triangles are congruent? Why that is not possible? Why is this a condition that all the three sides must be equal? Okay, let us try to understand this. So in this case, we are assuming that there is no criteria on the angles. So the angles could be could have any values because here we are talking only about the length of the sides of the triangles. So let us try to draw two triangles with one side equal. So let us see, say we have drawn two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DEF such that BC is equal to EF. So basically one side is equal to the corresponding side. So only one side is equal for these two triangles. So do you think that triangle ABC and triangle DEF would be congruent? How do we prove congruency? You take DEF and try to place it over ABC. 
put it in any orientation you want and you would see that the two triangles do not superpose they do not completely cover each other which proves that they are not congruent so if you have only one side equal and if you have no other criteria existing that is you have left the angles to be anything you have left the other two sides to be anything in that case the two triangles will never be congruent so if you want you can try this out with two sides equal as well so let us say if we want we can try to draw two different triangle two very much different triangles such that they have two sides equal again in this case there is no criteria or there is no uh, you know kind of um, obligation for the angles so let us say that we draw a triangle like this so this is just a dummy drawing let's say this is a triangle a b c and we draw another triangle such that AB is equal to DE and again BC is equal to DE, EF. Now you will draw BC equal to EF in this fashion only when you are maintaining this angle equal to this angle. But when we say that we have no restriction on the angle, then instead of like this, you could have drawn this EF like this. So this could have been your EF, right? So now if you compare this, let, let us call this F dash. Now if you compare triangle ABC and triangle DEF, do you think these two triangles will be congruent? They will not be. So triangle ABC will not be congruent to triangle DEF. But when you look at triangle, if, if in case you would have drawn a triangle like this, D, E, F dash. So in case you would have drawn this triangle, then you would have seen that triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle D, E, F dash. Why? Because in this case, you have ensured that two sides are equal and you have also ensured that one angle is also equal. So that is how you could conclude that the two triangles are congruent. But as long as you say that only one side of two triangles are equal or only two sides of two triangles are equal and everything else is different, in that case two triangles will never be congruent. So that is why when we are talking only about sides, we need to ensure that all the sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding sides of the other triangle. Now here on this screen, you can actually see how various triangles can be drawn on an equal side. So the, the triangles that you see on the screen, these triangles are not congruent to each other because they really do not overlap each other. So even by looking at them itself, you can see some of them are very small, some of them have a very different shape. But one interesting thing is that if you measure their sides, all of them have one side which is equal. So basically on the same side, you can draw a variety of triangles by changing the angles, by changing the length of the other side. So you, you know, you come up with many different triangles. So that is why we have, you know, kind of uh, devised these criteria because in order to prove that two triangles are congruent, only one condition is not sufficient. Only side length cannot help. Only measure of one angle will not help. So only when we say all the sides are equal, then yes, the two triangles will be congruent. Similarly, we will look at the other criteria also to prove that two triangles are congruent. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.